Eight healthy babies were born in Britain thanks to an experimental technique that uses DNA from three different people. The method helps mothers avoid passing on devastating rare diseases to their children. Researchers use healthy mitochondria from a donor egg to supplant genetic material that could cause dangerous mutations. While the procedure was only allowed following a 2016 law change in the UK, advocates say it could provide a promising alternative for some families. So mitochondrial diseases are basically when those mitochondria stop working. And therefore, what happens is the cells effectively run out of energy. And this means that patients develop symptoms in organs which require a lot of energy, such as the brain or the heart or the muscles, and it can lead to devastating disease. For example, rapid heart failure, sudden death, neurodegenerative diseases, for example. So that's a, what we're trying to prevent. So if a mother has the, carries these mutations, a woman carries these mutations, then what we do is the, cell, the egg is fertilized by the father's sperm. That means that the nuclear DNA, the DNA that makes us all, gives us all our characteristics, is from those two parents. That nuclear DNA is taken out of that egg a donor egg is fertilized, that nuclear DNA is taken out, and the nuclear DNA from the mother and the father is then transferred into the donor egg. So in effect, you've got the nuclear DNA that makes us all us, and then the mitochondria from a donor woman. That egg is then transferred back, that embryo is then transferred back to the, the mother, and then she has the baby. Families, in some families that we've looked after for many years, it is clearly running through the families. The, this disease is running through the families. And therefore, what we're trying to do is prevent that transmission.